Hi, it's Christina with the Sisyphean Journal. And today what I want to look at, it's a death from over 100 years ago. But what it highlights is not just that abortion isn't a solution. It highlights the appalling racism of the time. An article on the death of 19-year-old Emma Hubb really brings this to light. It begins, Uncle Billy Nickens, a well-known colored ca character of Hannibal, was arrested there yesterday, charged with causing the death of Emily Hubb by a criminal operation. A well-known colored character. Yeah, it, it's... And Uncle Billy Nickens. They, they don't even um, just call him by his proper name. Um, yeah, he was an abortionist, but just the, the dismissive way they cover him just appalls me. Now, Emma was the daughter of Jacob Hubb, a German shoemaker living just south of the Hannibal, Illinois city limits. Now, Jacob had expelled his daughter from the house due to her wild habits. So, you know, her father saw trouble coming. So she moved in with a painter named Matthew Soville. And around April 15th of 1893, Emma took ill and she was tended to by a Dr. Ebbets. Dr. Ebbets suspected an abortion and refused to treat Emma until she admitted to it. She continued to grow worse until her death relieved her of suffering at 1 a.m. yesterday, that being April 24th, 1893. Um, I have a real problem with doctors refusing to treat women until they admit to their abortions. It's your responsibility to save her life first. And then you go ahead and report it and you let the police investigators um, get the information out of her. You don't deny her care. Now, Emma had told Matthew Soville that his, and his wife that she had gone to Bill Nickens' house where he'd used instruments to cause an abortion. See, the doctor didn't refuse, need to refuse to treat her. Emma told the people she was living with. She said that a girl from Illinois was also there for an abortion. So Matthew did press Emma to write up a declaration. And the fatal abortion was reportedly Emma's second. The previous one had been performed in October of 1892. And Emma had given birth to a child about two years earlier. The article notes that Nickens was arrested, adding, the Negro has been brought up on similar charges before, but always managed to clear himself. Um, just referring to him as the Negro is profoundly offensive to modern ears, but that kind of shows the racism of the era. But the other thing it shows is um, even being low in society, like somebody who would be called Uncle Billy Nickens by the newspapers, doesn't guarantee that you're going to go to jail for abortions. Um, if we want to protect women from these people, we need to be diligent.